Welcome to Truth and Nothing But, Episode 22, The Dolls Roll and the $5 Indian. This episode includes Melanie's sex magic, the link to the full videos in the description. Like and subscribe there. Peace. another video today I wanted to talk about the dolls rolls the dolls commission and what the heck is a five dollar Indian back when Europeans began to settle in North America obviously that land was already being occupied by the native people the Europeans wanted the land so they would loot and burn the homes they would steal livestock, and they committed mass murders of Native American people. Although the Supreme Court objected these practices, and many attempts were made to civilize the Native Americans, which is where you get the five civilized tribes, President Andrew Jackson actually was a huge advocate for the removal of Native Americans and he spent a great portion of his career brutally murdering Native American people and stealing their land. In 1830, he signed into law what was called the Indian Removal Act. And this was responsible for over 100,000 Native American people being forced to give up their land east of the Mississippi River and migrate on foot to what was called Indian Territory. Now, Indian Territory is basically the state of Oklahoma now. Sometimes the native people would be taken to these holding spots, which were called removal camps or removal forts. And they were completely unsanitary, the people were mistreated, and oftentimes the women would actually be raped. The entire process of uh, moving the Native Americans to Indian Territory lasted about 20 years and thousands and thousands and thousands of Native people died, whether it be from starvation, disease, or just violence. This journey took over 5,000 miles and crossed the state of North Carolina, Alabama, Arkansas, Kentucky, Tennessee, Illinois, Georgia, Missouri, and Oklahoma. This is called the Trail of Tears. Now, almost 50 years later, in 1887, most of the native people that migrated had settled in Indian territory, but the US government still wasn't satisfied. So a congressman by the name of Henry L. Dawes actually proposed an act, which was later known as the Dawes Act, that would subdivide land that was already promised to the native people. So basically, they wanted to break the communal land down even further, and they would grant individual people or families allotments of land. So this basically stole even more Native American land because after all of the land was subdivided, anything that was left over was deemed surplus and it was available for non-native people and corporations. In 1893, the Dawes Commission was created. 
and the Dawes Commission was a committee of white men that were appointed by the US government to basically subdivide the land and figure out who was actually of native bloodline. So by 1896, the commission moved into Indian territory and they began enrolling members and dividing the land. Now, the Dawes Commission would make people testify and prove their native connection. They created enrollment cards for each individual member, including children, and each approved member would actually be allotted at least 40 acres of land. The commission would also make each person claim one membership to one tribe, even though it was completely common to have more than one line of ancestry. Now, when white settlers heard about the benefits that the Native American people were receiving, they began traveling to Indian territory and getting in these lines and claiming that they had a native bloodline. They would tell stories that they had been kidnapped by the Indian chief or members of the tribe and basically taught all of their rituals and all of their practices. And they did this solely because of the benefits that the native people were receiving. They wanted to gain access to the benefits that was being given to the native people and the commission would actually accept an under the table fee of five dollars, five dollars, five dollars to process falsified documents from Caucasian people claiming that they were Native American people. You have a bunch of Caucasian people that now have Native citizenship. Not only citizenship, but they receive benefits and they also have some kind of say-so in the Native communities. Meanwhile, true Native American people either never registered on the Dawes Rolls because of mistrust of the government, for good reason, or they were rejected because their skin tone was too dark. A lot of the copper-toned Native American people were reclassified as Negro, colored, and some of them were even classified as mulatto. Wait a minute! Who are you? The commission actually created a separate list called the Freedmen's List that was supposed to be for anyone that they deemed as colored or Negro people, even if prior to that they were considered Native American. This was completely detrimental to the Native American tribes because a lot of the people that were legitimate Native Americans were excluded and on the other hand you have people that have no native blood at all that were given benefits. So the Curtis Act of 1898 was actually an amendment of the Dawes Act of 1887. It was introduced by 31st Vice President Charles Curtis, also a congressman who was actually of Native American descent and it was signed into law by President William McKinley. What the Curtis Act did was break up all the tribal governments. So now the native people would not be subjected to their own laws, but to the laws of the federal government. Before the Curtis Act, each tribal government would have the authority to decide whether or not a person was a member or not. However, after the Curtis Act, the tribal memberships was completely determined upon the Dawes Rolls, which 
we know is completely inaccurate. So any tribal legislation that was passed after 1898 had to be approved by the president and this also redistributed the land to the Native American people. So it took back all of the allotments which actually ended up taking 90 million more acres of land from the Native American people that was open to anyone that wanted to move on to that territory. The Curtis Act actually established public schools on the reservations and allowed the incorporation of towns. Ultimately, this is what led Oklahoma to becoming a state in 1907. The Dawes Act as well as the Curtis Act have both since been overturned. The native tribes now have full autonomy over who is allowed access to membership in the tribes. However, a lot of people still rely heavily on the Dolls Rose to determine whether or not they have native ancestry. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to click the notification bell so you can know when I upload a new video. And I will see you guys the next time. Peace.